Everyone has been affected by the virus uh, in a different degree. And uh, I have been uh, in the hospital for the last two weeks, almost on a daily basis pretty much. And I just realized we need to live with this virus. We don't know when vaccine is gonna come. It may take one year, it may take uh, two years, or it may never come. So we are going to mitigate uh, the risk uh, by uh, following social distancing and washing our hands and so on. But this virus is not going to go away anytime soon, in my opinion. So we need to learn how to protect ourselves. In my opinion, the mask is a great piece of protective equipment. Or even if you use a, a mask, a mask made from a, an old t-shirt, as you can see on CDC website. And mask is effective in two ways. First of all, you protect surrounding from your own, from yourself basically, because when you breathe, you exhale micro droplets and uh, viral particles into surrounding you air. Even, even though self-made mask or simple mask may not protect you or surrounding completely from the virus, but it definitely gonna reduce the uh, amount of uh, droplets you exhale in uh, possible amount of uh, viral uh, particles. So if everyone wears a mask, we can significantly reduce our chances to get infected. That's my, my, my personal opinion. And again, you can hear that there is no evidence that masks are helpful, but there is no evidence that parachutes are helpful when you jump from a plane, right? Nobody, do, no, nobody has ever done a uh, double blinded clinical trial with parachute because uh, it's effective for uh, for uh, an obvious reason it's almost impossible to buy a sanitizer right now we, we're gonna do our own sanitizer it's important not only to have a sanitizer it's important to use it correctly for example if you have a sanitizer and you put it in your pocket right and you go to a store and you touch you know, you touch uh, a door and you touch a cart, you know, and you touch different items in the store. And then you want to sanitize your hands and you put your hand into the pocket to reach uh, for, for a sanitizer. So you, your hand is infected. So you go with infected hand in your pocket and uh, then you're going to, you know, you're going to sanitize your hands but then you go back to your pocket to, to put the sanitizer back and because your pocket is already in infected, so your hand it becomes infected too. And when you touch your face, you touch your eyes, uh, you know, uh, sometimes uh, you rub your eyes, that's how you uh, get infected and get this disease as well. Another road, when you go, in, into, uh, you go into the store and there are lots of people and not all people wear a mask. So, and uh, people, if they infected, they may exhale virus and you inhale it and that, that's the way you become infected. That's called airborne road. And uh, uh, when you touch items and then touch your uh, face or uh, touch, your, touch your eyes, it's called droplet road. So droplet basically, uh, uh, we don't know if it's more common uh, uh, to get this virus from airborne road or from droplet road, but we know for sure that this uh, virus may become airborne. For example, especially during uh, aerosol and generating procedures such as intubation or using nebulizer, or even, uh, even during uh, strong uh, coughing or sneezing, you know, this virus may become airborne for a few minutes or a few seconds uh, or even for a few hours. We don't know everything yet about this virus, so it's important to take precautions. So, okay, let's uh, uh, return to sanitizer topic and talk about sanitizer. Again, you know, you, you, if you put your sanitizer in your purse or in your pocket, and then you reach for sanitizer by infected hands, you're gonna infect everything in your purse and in your pocket. So if you, for example, you reach for a phone, you know, with a, a dirty hand, your phone gets infected, then you sterilize your hands, but then you touch your phone again and touch your face and you get infected even though you sterilize your face. So it's not only important to have, to have a sanitizer, it's important to have correct sanitizer and uh, make sure you use it correctly. And I want to show you how I use it sanitizer and you can decide if uh, this way is right for you or not.
Okay, guys, let's talk about what we need. Uh, this is a 100 pound test braid line, but you can use pretty much any piece of uh, roll. This is aluminum uh, carabiner. That's a very nice thing to have. Um, I, I use it for multiple purpose and you can buy it on Amazon. This is two ounces uh, spray bottle you can buy them on amazon now you need some kind of alcohol so you can uh, use uh, traditional uh, 70 per uh, 70 percent isopropyl rubbing alcohol that's kind of ide ideal um, you know but it's kind of hard to buy it now on uh, amazon or in walmart or anywhere so you can just basically buy something like that in a liquor store uh, this uh, bottle is one liter and um, this is 76 percent alcohol uh, this is not isopropyl alcohol but this is ethyl uh, alcohol uh, it's a little bit different but uh, works the same way, way they usually use it they usually use it pretty often in ukraine russia uh, in medicine and uh, you know it's drinkable as well and uh you know if you have like 99 percent alcohol uh then you can just add water and make 70 percent so okay um you have this bottle and um it's uh, everything is pretty simple basically you just unscrew um unscrew the cover and get your alcohol ready and you pour you pour your alcohol in the bottle okay you usually like to use a few drops of essential oil but i don't have it now uh i ordered it so it should come soon but you know if you have if you use a few drops of essential oil it's gonna smell uh, good so now what you're gonna do you just put the um you just uh, you just screw cover a little bit. So you just screw it like that, okay? All right, so it's good to go. Now, the most exciting part: you're gonna do, you're gonna tie it uh, what call uni knot. Let me show you how it's done. So what you do, you just. Uh, uh, you have a tag end here right so you can ju you just put it uh, around the bottom all right so far you good you have two uh, tags this one is tag end and this is what you call like main line right so now you're gonna make a loop just like that okay just make a loop this is tag end okay so again this is main line this is your tag end here and you made a loop and you hold in your loop with your thumb now this goes on top of those two of your tag end and main line and now basically what you do you go inside five times one two three four okay that's all and now you just pull like that and now just pull your main line a little bit so you pull in your main line pull 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 like that and now what you're gonna do just pull both ends Okay, just pull strong. Okay. Okay, pull strong. Now what we're gonna do? Just cut this tag end. Okay, that's a very strong knot. Believe me, it's one of the strongest knots you can actually tie. So what are we gonna do here? 
just make a loop here, okay? Just make a loop. And just make a regular note. But times two. So you go, okay, look again. Loop. One. Two. Okay? And just pull it. Pull it strong. Can pull this end. Very good. Let's get this in. Okay, very good. That's what we got now. What we do? Clip it like that. And what you can do with the sanitizer, what I suggest, you can clip it to your belt. You know, you can clip it to your belt or anywhere anywhere to your clothes. So this way, you know, when you walk around and you go for a store, for a grocery store, for example, right? And you touch something. You don't need to go, uh, you don't need to put your hand to your pocket and to your purse. The only thing what you do, and this is actually very convenient, when you put a finger here, you can feel which direction you're gonna spray pretty much, you know? So, look. You can sanitize pretty much anything, you know? And uh, it actually sprays with very thin layer. And that's very good. So you can sanitize your hands, you can uh, sanitize, you know, your door, your groceries, whatever you want. So that's how it's how it works. Homemade sanitizer, um, cheap and very reliable. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, as always, don't get don't forget to like it and subscribe. Bye.